Hello everyone, it's her crabbiness here. I know it's been a while, um, but I decided to do a let's play of Hotoful Boyfriend, and no, that's not a typo. Uh, you might be wondering, what is Hotful Boyfriend and what the heck is going on in this title? Why are there doves and hearts? What the heck? Well, um, Hotful Boyfriend is a bit difficult to describe properly. I actually have a text window open because it's... <laughs> I mean, come on, look at it. Um, basically, Hotful Boyfriend is a Japanese visual novel slash dating sim thing, uh, but instead of dating people, we date pigeons. Yeah, really. We're not even a pigeon ourselves. We're a human being dating pigeons. Uh, we have all sorts of handsome specimens to choose from here, depending on our choices. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, I, I've seen images from this game floating around on the internet since, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and I've always wanted to play it because it looked so funny and ridiculous. And a few days ago I actually started uh, playing it. I got it for five bucks. And I actually got really, really sucked in, and I wanted to share part of it with you. I won't be doing a playthrough of each and every single ending because that's going to be a ton of repetition. Um, I think it would be kind of boring to watch personally. I think it would be, yeah. But I thought I'd share a couple of paths with you. Uh, Hotful, by the way, is a bit of a play on words. Hato in Japanese means pigeon, so that's pigeonful boyfriend. And you could also interpret Hatoful to be uh, the Japanese uh, pronunciation of heartful or hurtful boyfriend. You can also... Um, I lost my train of thought there. Anyway, there's surprisingly actually a lot to this game that I don't want to reveal because I actually do recommend playing it all the way through yourself and getting all the endings, but there's actually quite a lot inside this game that you can find out and I don't want to spoil everything. Just play it yourself after watching a couple of paths that I do. Uh, hope you enjoy. Let's get started. We're going to St. Pigeonations Institute. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Uh, the game gives you a default name, but I've always been partial to Beatrice Ladybird. That was just the first name I came up with. I don't know. Uh, Ladybird Beatrice, they put it that way because in Japanese you say the last name first and the first name last. What a backwards country, oh my god. Yeah. Beatrice Ladybird, that is what I want. The cast was released on April Fools with voice credits. This game doesn't have voices though, sorry. It does, however, have an advanced ICPSS built in. The name of each character's voice actor will be displayed when they are introduced. VA freaks, please imagine those actors' voices. Uh, it also includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Should I display humans' portraits? Hell yes! Uh, I can right-click to show, show more options, but I don't know what a lot of them mean, because it's been a while since I've studied Japanese. Um, Normally when you play this game you don't actually get this message, but since I've played through every single ending, I get it every single time. I'm going to choose a normal life, because if I do fulfill the promise it's going to make absolutely no sense to you guys and it's full of spoilers and it actually takes several hours long to play through without skipping everything. So we're going to do a normal life. Today is April 8th. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing particular. 
This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the science, oh, sorry, the sciences, even sports come to Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Normally you'd have been ready an hour for an hour by now, Beatrice. Overslept? This is supposed to be our voice actor. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends ever since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Yoda. Wow, I'm mean. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we have to hurry to class. Jeepers. No good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into school. Today's the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Hotiful Boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy for, of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. First term. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. <sighs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously sop uh, soporific math professor. I had heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Ah, uh, 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 I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Uh, which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, uh, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane, le bel Sakuya. I love this guy so much. He's my favorite character. Look at those tail feathers. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up. But then, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I got these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Whoops. Or not. A morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Huh? He looked away. No, 
not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, Hurry up and return them already! Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're, they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Ladybird Beatrice, a sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning deaths are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Oh! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Ah, uh, 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 I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous through the school. Everybody knows of him. You're Beatrice, right? How, how did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single puppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that a stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me? Nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryota! No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird! Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. 
Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpar, triphate, leucobenzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Ah! Did, did the doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? Uh, no, thank you. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspiril gillis, sacatosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door, ninja doctor! You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Miyota, uh, Kawada from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. Uh, I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! This is no pudding for a man! Coo! Okosan rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding! Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Oko-san has no human portrait. <laughs> this is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool. Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool. Oko-san extracted that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed! Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady! Okosan used his wing attack. It's super effective. Go! Cool. They'll rule the day they have crossed Okosan! They'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn! He will! Oko-san must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at Pigeon Nations. April 11th. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Oko-san has time only for the track team! That's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? Uh, just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. And I can, I can make a decision here, but I'm gonna cut the video right now and give you viewers uh, a choice of who I want to date for this run. We have uh, Ryota, our childhood best friend. We have, yes, our teacher. Uh, we have the freshman in the library, Nageki. Um, we technically do have the doctor, but I'm going to uh, ban him just for now because if we pursued him, it really wouldn't make any sense. We can date uh, Birdbrain Oko-san. 
we can date upperclassman Yuya. Oh, or Sakuya, the snobby French transfer student. I think that was everybody. Basically, any, any birdie that has a human portrait is somebody who is dateable. And depending on who I want to date, I have to... Sometimes I have to join certain teams. Sometimes I have to level up different um, stats, that kind of thing. But since I want to leave it up to you, I'm going to end the video here. And when we come back, I'll announce the winner and make my choice. Bye for now, everybody.